Hi everyone, my name is Carlos Boca Negra, and uh, today I wanted to talk to you guys about procrastination. Uh, what is it and what can we do about it? Um, why does it happen? Um, and I'm not going to claim I'm some expert on the topic, uh, but I was thinking that hopefully my experiences and the things I've researched and heard from others could possibly help you guys. Um, so first off, what is procrastination? A simple search on the dictionary will tell us that procrastination is to put off intentionally and hab habitually. But why? Why do we feel the need to put things off? And after doing a little research, I found that most people often procrastinate because they either feel like they can't focus at the moment or because they actually feel a sort of fear and anxiety, stress, uh, due to the assignment or task that they have to complete. Um, and I mean, that's certainly something that like I myself have faced as a student. Uh, there's obviously been assignments that I thought were really difficult, assignments that I wasn't sure how to tackle, how to do. Uh, so it is a feeling that I have felt myself uh, a feeling of uh, a lack of focus, a uh, lack of direction. Um, and uh, one example of this actually happened recently uh, while I was a college freshman in a, uh, my ethics course. Uh, we were writing an essay. Um, and the essay could really be about... Um, any any ethical topic that we wanted to um but i i still struggled with it um i really just did not know uh, like what i should write it about um like um what my top what my topic is going to be basically um and therefore that caused like a lot of anxiety a lot of stress within me uh, along with the stress of uh, the whole coronavirus situation as well, because this happened early in uh, 2020, early in the pandemic, actually. Uh, so there was all of those things going on. So all that stress combined together, imagine that. Um, but anyways, um, and we were given about two months to work on it. So that's a lot of time, actually. But in those two months, I was only able to get uh, the introduction paragraph and a little bit of research done. So that's not a lot. That's actually like really bad uh, if you're trying to get a good grade. Um, and you know, I kept on telling myself, oh, I'll get to it. I'll, I'll do it eventually. Um, I just got to give myself a little bit of time. Like I'm not feeling it tonight. I would always tell myself those little things. Um, but deep down, I really like felt... Um, anxious because I didn't know how to tackle this essay. I didn't know what exactly I was going to do. Um, and so again, I kept on telling myself that and it got to the point where eventually the day that the essay was due came. Uh, and again, I only had the introduction and a little bit of research done. Uh, there was like little to no chance I was going to finish that essay on that day. Um, and plus I had other assignments, other projects to work on. So I ultimately had to like make that sacrifice <laughs> and not turn in my essay because uh, it wasn't complete. Um, and I mean, it, it did end up impacting my grade. Um, but uh, let's, let's look at a few things I could have uh, possibly done different. And hopefully these things um, will be able to help you guys too. Um, and I mean, I know some of these ad pieces of advices of advice, uh, sorry, will probably be a little bit of a, a little bit obvious. Like maybe you've heard these before, but I mean, if you've heard the, if you've heard them a lot, it's probably because they do work. But um, keep in mind that you do you will have to put in a little bit, a little bit, not a little bit, a lot, a lot of effort um, to actually, I guess, in, incorporate these habits into. Uh, your studying or homework uh, so that you won't uh, procrastinate as much or hopefully be able to kick out procrastinating uh, completely if not um, the majority of it out of your life. Um, so 
one of the first things I could have done is prioritize the uh, most difficult parts of the essay process. Again, you've probably heard that a million times, but it is true. Um, because just just think about it. If one of the reasons we procrastinate is because uh, we don't know how to do a certain assignment or we just want to avoid it because we want to avoid the stress that comes with it. Uh, think about it. The hardest part of the assignment is probably what brings the most stress. So if we take that out of the equation, if we get that done first, then that's going to take a good amount of stress out of the whole process. Uh, so that's why that is a good idea. Um, and it's just one of those things where you just kind of have to like force yourself to do it. Um, force yourself to do those hard things first, to tackle uh, the tough things first. Um, and I mean, one of the things that also kind of made it difficult for me to work on, um, this essay is that I actually spent like a lot of time on my phone. Uh, so, um, I would like go on social media, I would go on YouTube and I, w I would think I would only be there for like five minutes or 10 minutes but then that would turn into like 40 minutes or even an hour so imagine that's like a lot of wasted time basically um and to combat that i mean one of the things i could have done is perhaps like set up like an end reward and a, a good one um because i i mean personally myself i always find myself saying that i don't have time to like hang out with friends or family um, or just like do the hobbies I like um, because of like work and school work and me having to deal with it a lot but in reality the reason why I think that or the reason why that is sort of a reality in my life is because I find myself um, a lot of the times when I'm trying to study or get work done uh, like that temptation of being on my phone comes on um, like I, I kind of like want to replace that difficult, that difficulty, that stress of that assignment with like a little bit of satisfaction from my phone. Um, and like I was saying, something I could possibly, I could have possibly tried, and maybe you guys can try, is to set up like an end reward, um, something like going to the theaters with friends, a concert with friends, uh, buying yourself a new video game and playing it for a few hours, perhaps. Um, and that'll kind of like motivate you because I mean, if you think about it, um, like instead of like wanting to kill time on your phone, you're going to be like, oh man, if I get this done, I'll be able to do this, this and that. And that'll be like an extra boost of motivation for you. Also, uh, one of, one other thing I could have probably done to combat, uh, the constant usage of my phone while I'm trying to study or work um, and something maybe you guys could try as well is uh, there's like these certain apps that actually like block like uh, certain websites or like apps maybe like social media and all that um, while you're studying and a few of them are like uh, there's one called cold turkey blocker and uh, I think another one's called like freedom um, if I'm not mistaken uh, and basically, like I said, those kind of like block websites or um, apps that like you use a lot so that uh, while you're not studying that like while you're studying that temptation will come up. And I mean, uh, to kind of finish up here, some people might say that, um, oh, they work better under pressure or uh, they like doing things last minute. But I mean just think about it just think about it um like they claim that people claim that they work under pressure but that's only because their body kind of goes into like this panic mode because of uh the due date um like maybe a day before they'll start like freaking out and doing as much work as they can they'll probably pull like an all-nighter or something like that but um i mean think about it like if like over the pro over the time that the assignment is assigned, um, 
they're just letting all that stress and all that anxiety build up on them and then like that night before the assignments due like they just release it all at once i'm pretty sure that's not healthy uh but then I'm, again i'm not an expert but i mean just thinking about it that does not sound healthy that does not sound um something that like you preferably would want to do um so again something like um kind of like mapping out like having like a roadmap of like where you want to go like oh this certain day uh, i want to have this and this done this other day this other week i want to have uh this other part done like for example for my essay i could have done like um, maybe like one week i'll focus on researching finding quotes and all that they use in my essay another week i'll focus on actually writing my essay getting it all together the introduction the body and the conclusion and then the last weeks i'll focus on just editing putting up the final touches and ultimately just turning it in um but yeah just to wrap up guys i mean the sooner you get procrastination out of your life the better because think about it um sometimes in life there's not going to be like a due date that'll get you in uh panic mode and you may miss out on certain opportunities or uh certain things because of that um and I mean, I'm pretty sure if you look it up, there's probably a lot of people that whose lives have been hurt because of procrastination. So it's definitely something you want to avoid. I would recommend doing more research, uh, checking out more resources that could help you beat your procrastination and just getting your work done. That's always the best thing you can do, just like forcing yourself to work uh, and rewarding yourself, but like in a healthy way, not just like uh, getting on your phone like every five minutes set goals set boundaries and do what you got to do and get to work <laughs>